Hello, miss. May I ask who you're looking for? Uh, hello. Uh, uh miss, you, you can't go in there. Excuse me, you, you can't walk that way. Uh, it's fine. Okay. What are you here for? The size of this company is quite big, but I'm not sure if it's profiting. Maybe it's just an empty shell. We're doing very good. Our online sales performance is increasing every day, even though we've just opened. Then, congratulations. Hey, tell you what. Ever since you left my store, the business has gotten better and better. <laughs> hey, a while ago, I posted an employment ad online, and guess what happened in the end? So many hot guys applied for it. Isn't that what you want? You could just hire them all. That's what I plan to do. Bao Jiao Ming! Bao Jiao Ming! Bao Jiao Ming! He's not here. He went out. I came all the way here with my bread, wanting to let you guys try it. But you didn't even offer me a seat. Oh dear, uh, uh. how could you be so rude? <sighs> this is my store's new product. Originally, I wanted to bring it here to let Bao Jiaming try it. I didn't expect that he wouldn't be here. Never mind. I already brought it all this way. It would be a waste to throw it away. You can have it. What are you looking at? I made all of this myself. It tastes better than the ones that some other people make. How's it taste? Not enough sugar, too much milk. I've told you a million times. Th that's impossible. I tried them all. They were delicious. Wait, no. This is... Uh... It's really good. Come to my house. It's pretty busy around lunch. I'll leave right after this. I know you're busy. That's why I already ordered for you. I can see what you did. You and I can have a talk while we eat. What is so big that you had to drag me out here? Dudu just quit. Xiong just told me about it. He said that she handed in her resignation this morning. She left just after that. Which also means she won't be hanging around your husband anymore in the future. You know, Yu Xiaoqiang. I never expected this. This time you did a really good job. You removed this heavy rock in your heart so swiftly. Hey, tell me, tell me, tell me. How did you get her to quit? A smart woman can get rid of a potential threat completely without having to do it herself. 
It's not at all what you're thinking. Then what happened exactly? I thought that when you heard it from me, you would have been super happy, super excited, super... I'm feeling super conflicted. Because of what? Just last night, Xiaoming and I talked everything out with each other. Oh. I think he shouldn't have given Dudu any false impressions that they might have gotten back together. Huh? Is that what you told Xiaoming last night? Uh-huh. No way. Then he must have told Dudu the same thing, otherwise she wouldn't have quit. But I honestly didn't mean for her to quit. I just wanted to remind Xiaoming, as a man especially, since he's already married to me, he shouldn't give anybody meaningless hope when it comes to a relationship. That doesn't do anyone any good. Everything you're saying makes me so confused. What do you mean exactly? I'm wondering, what is Dudu going to do without this job? Xiong already told me. He said that she already found another job. Really? Mm hmm Well, in that case, I don't feel so guilty. Otherwise, I'd feel really bad. Do you think I'm being too nervous about this? Am I being overly sensitive? Do you think I distrust my husband too much? Do you think Jiaming will blame me? That I don't know. Do you think I should find some time to explain everything to Dudu? Come on. If you have time to explain it to her, you might as well just think about your husband, Bao Jiaming. Think about what he really wants and what you can actually do for him to make him happy. Mr. Zhou told me that you went to talk to him about the divorce, right? Yes. If you have decided to get a divorce, you can just go talk to Mr. Zhou if you want any financial demands. I won't have a problem with it. The only thing I want to do right now is make sure my mom is happy during her last few years. She's pretty old already. There won't be much time left with her. I know we have some problems between us. But don't you want to try to solve them? I have tried. I have done a lot. But what else can I do? And I don't want to see you in so much pain. If getting a divorce can set you free, I'll do it. I just bought a ticket to Australia. Hmm. Let's talk about it when I get back. <laughs> hmm. What's so funny? Other uh, than running away from home in order to avoid your problems. What else can you do? There's that attitude again. Hmm. It does match your style. If I could love you a little less... Maybe I wouldn't feel so much pain. Your love has already caused me so much pain. That's because you don't understand my love. You've been living under the shadow of your divorce. That's why you felt so desperate and exhausted after you and I got married. Seems like it wouldn't be meaningful anymore. Even if I could change now. I want to ask you one last time. Do you still love me? My heart's tired. Dudu resigned today? Hmm. Why didn't you tell me about her resignation? You found out about it even though I didn't tell you. So if no one had told me about it, you wouldn't have told me either? Right? Is there something else you're hiding from me? I'm hiding things from you? Mm hmm Or you're hiding something from me? Me from you? What can I hide from you? Just think carefully. Is there anything you're hiding? I'm not hiding anything from you. What do you want to say? I have nothing to say. You blame me for Dudu's resignation, right? You think she quit because of me. If that's how you really look at this, then I'll go find her. I'll ask her to come back. Also, if you think it's bad for me to come to your company, then I won't go there anymore. 
Are you done talking? What do you really think of me? You said Dudu quit because of you, so you must think something did happen between us. That's not what I said, okay? Because she wants to hide from you, she has no choice but to leave the company and to leave me. Have you ever realized you have a really big problem? You're subjective and dictatorial. I'm subjective and dictatorial? I'm a person who's all about the sensations. But I believe in facts. Anyway, I feel like you're a little different. Of course I'm not the same anymore. You want me to be an ignorant teenager forever? Honey, what's wrong with you? It's not that I don't trust you. I would still be worried if there was a pretty young girl hanging around you every day, even if it wasn't doo-doo. You've slept with your back to me the past two nights. What's going on? Can you please turn around? Just say it. Just turn around. I have something to say to you. I'm going to tell you something really important. Just turn around. Turn around. Say it. I sent Xiao Guan to go take care of Mama's grandma. My dad and aunt have always wanted to take care of Mama. I can take Mama to them. Then the two of us can have some quiet time of our own. Okay? Sure. Hello? Hey, honey. What's up, babe? Come home early tonight. I'll make you a nice dinner. <laughs> okay. Hey, I think it's been a while since you called your parents. Oh, I forgot to call them this week. Don't worry, I'll give them a call later. I'm gonna go. Jamil, <laughs> I'm taking a walk with your father. Yeah, I heard from Wong that your tea business is going really well. Your father said the business is the most important. Uh huh. <sighs> your father and I go for walks a lot. Just call our cell phones if you need to find us. Huh? I need to buy something now. Uh. Jamil, I gotta go now. Take care. Bye bye. Is that Jamin? You did.
did really, really good. We can't tell him I'm in the hospital again. Our son is very smart. How long do you think you can hide it? As long as possible. Uh, our son has grown into a man. But now, I can't let him worry about my health too much. Besides, he has to take care of his family and work, you know? Mm. We can't distract him. Mm. As I... <clears throat> The reason why our son is mature now is because of the woman behind him. Yu Xiaocheng is a great daughter-in-law. I knew it. I knew you would talk about this with me. Your first priority right now is to take care of yourself. Everything is negotiable when you're out of here, okay? It sounds like you've accepted her as our daughter-in-law. I didn't say that. That's I... I thought about it. I think I'm luckier than you, actually. Bullshit. Look at you. You're lying in a hospital bed, but you think you're luckier than me? What's so lucky about this? Where's the luck? <laughs> think about it. If I really died before you, then I'd have my wife to be here with me before I pass away. I won't be lonely. Bao Yu, you. you're not allowed to say that. Where do you want to go? You want to leave me alone and go to the other side to enjoy your new life? Besides, you wouldn't miss me, would you? Of course, I'd miss you. Then why did you say that? But if God wants me to go be with him first, I have to say goodbye to you even if I don't want to. You want to say goodbye to me? It won't be that easy. Listen to me carefully. We still want our son to bring his wife and the son to come here and see us. So you've accepted it. Yo Yu. I know your biggest wish right now is to make me accept her as our daughter-in-law. You have to promise me to take good care of yourself and hopefully be back home soon. Then I'll assure you, I will accept her. <laughs> now you've got the right spirit. Try to think like that in the future too. If the family is good, we're all good. If we're all good, the family will be better. Yo Yu, you said enough today. Rest for a while. I'm going to divorce Liu Guangyao. I know it's a little weird for me to tell you about this, but I have something I want to make clear with you. Although you and Guangyao have divorced already, deep down inside Guangyao and his mother's heart, you're still part of their family. Especially after mom went into the hospital. Your care for his mom made Guangyao regret even more divorcing you. Otherwise, 
They wouldn't be talking about how virtuous, how gentle, and how open-minded you are in front of me without caring for my feelings. Lanxin, you coming to see me today makes me feel like you're still not completely over Guangyao or that family. It wouldn't help even if I did care. That family doesn't want me there anymore. I'm planning to leave here for a while. I'm going to Australia tomorrow. I want you to know that family will always welcome you back when I'm gone. What are you even thinking? I'm already married. I have my own family as well. I stay in contact with them only because my child is related by blood to their family. I personally have no connection with that family anymore. I really don't know what to say about the way you two are standing right now. You're going to Australia. You came here to see me today. I think you must feel a lot of pain inside. You don't know how to let it out. If Liu Guangyao or Jiaming sees you and I sitting here today, I think they'll find it pretty unbelievable. Lanxin, no matter what decisions you make, I'm sure you have your own reason. I've had times when I was very helpless like you. I want to tell you, no one can really help you on this. You can only come out of it on your own. Just go get some fresh air. Think of it as practice. Hi, hello there. <laughs> Here, drink some of this. Relax, relax. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? <clears throat> what should I call you? Oh, I'm Chong Kanan, 28 years old, 1.2 meters tall. No, 1.72 meters tall, 90 kilograms. <laughs> you want to have a relationship with Fang Fang? Well, tell me about your advantages and your disadvantages. I have a lot of advantages. First, I'm very healthy. Uh, I'm willing to do anything for Feng Feng. I'll never complain. Uh -huh. Second, I'm a kind person. I'll always put Feng Feng first. Nothing else is more important. Mm -hmm. Here's the thing. My parents passed away early, so Feng Feng is the most important person to me. She's my one and only. <laughs> Third... I'm good at housework as well as my job. I can do laundry, mop the floor, and everything else. Anyway, I can be a driver, a maid, and a husband all at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> so, about your house. Oh, well, I still haven't bought a house yet. But I can afford to pay for the down payment. Uh -huh. Don't worry, I'm still young. Besides, I'm starting my own business. I will definitely buy a big house for Fong Fong someday. Uh-huh. <laughs> Speaking of a house, our house is pretty big, actually. If you two really get married, you can just stay here with me. I'm not that type of mother-in-law who only cares about money, houses, and cars. <laughs> really? Mrs. Chung, you're so nice. You're such a nice person. <laughs> um... That's enough with the sweet talk. Well, Mom, should he tell you his disadvantages? Uh, tell her disadvantages. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dis disadvantages. First, uh, I'm scared of you. Second, I'm scared of Feng Feng. Third, I'm scared of both of you. And, uh, I'm scared. I don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't want to be scared of you two. But every time when I see Feng Feng... I don't know what to do. Maybe not knowing is love, and love is not knowing. <laughs> that's enough, that's enough. Going back and forth is going to confuse her. If you don't know what to say, just talk less, talk less. Uh-huh. My Feng Feng has a pretty bad temper. It's okay. You don't need to be afraid. We're family. Keep talking about your disadvantages. Uh, keep... keep talking? But Feng Feng told me to talk less. Are you going to listen to her or me? Well, uh, Mrs. Zhang, of course I'll listen to you. No, I, I'll listen to Feng Feng. No. <clears throat> Auntie, Feng Feng, please don't be like this. This is like asking me to pick who to save from drowning. Are you stupid? 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Mrs. Jung. Uh, I don't know what to say. I said it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll leave. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? So adorable. He's so adorable. I actually like him. <laughs> you really like him? You scared him away. Oh, but I do really like him. Listen to me. Guys like him will treat you nice forever. <laughs> go, go, go and get him. Wait, what? <laughs> You're annoying. You're so oh annoying. God, no. Hey! Shong, wait for me! Shong! <laughs> Fatty! Fatty! Hey! Fatty! Stop right there! Don't you hear me? Stop! Hey! I'm calling you. Don't you hear me? Were you calling me? Of course! Who else would I be calling? Look around! Who else do you see who's fatter? Hey, tell me! Why did you run away? You didn't finish! I'm so sorry, Fang Fang. I think I messed up again. I really didn't want this to happen. I planned it so well at home yesterday. I was planning to make Auntie really, really happy. If she's happy, you'll be happy too. If you're happy, everyone is happy. If everyone's happy, then I can propose to you, right? What did you just say? Uh, I didn't say anything. Who are you going to propose to? Tell me. Feng Feng, I swear, I will treat you really well. I will always love you, spoil you, cherish you, protect you, for this life, the next life, and for a lot of lives. Please believe me. From today on, my everything will be yours. My money's yours. My bank cards are all yours. My car is yours. Even though I can't afford a house now, I'll buy one in the future, and I will only write your name on the property ownership certificate. Feng Feng, will you marry me? Are you crazy? Have you been watching too many soap operas? You're too old to say that kind of stuff. Ridiculous. Stupid. So silly. Hey, what are you doing? I haven't said yes yet. I didn't say I'd marry you. What are you doing? I told you before, I would perform the best magic trick that you've ever seen. Xiong, <laughs> there's something I've always wanted to tell you. Out of all the men in this world, you really are the very best, very best man I've ever met. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're happy, right? I am. Here, 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 here. It's so good to be home. Uh, uh, I, uh, I, listen, you should rest a few days. Then we need to go back and do the stent surgery. No way. I wanted to come home because I 
don't want surgery. But the doctor told us. It's good for your health to have a fixed support. Besides, it's minimally invasive. You shouldn't be scared. No way. Spending one day in the hospital is painful enough. Just give me my medicine. Go, go, go. You should go to work. I'm not going today. You just came back home. I want to stay with you. Oh, Guangyao. Hmm. Are you the one who sent Nanxin away? Didn't I already tell you? She's only going on vacation. Why don't you believe me? Maybe what I said in the hospital was too much. So she took it seriously. It wasn't your fault at all. Really. Well, yeah. Hmm. If you still want to stay with Lan Xin as your mom, I'll just try to look the other way. As the saying goes, the strong should compromise. All this time I spent in the hospital seeing all kinds of birth and death. I saw through the vanity of life. That's what life is, isn't it? You can get through many things in life if you can just compromise. Am I right? I understand everything you said. But it's really hard for us to keep going. Actually, as your mother, I can tell you two still love each other. Indeed, we do. But if she can't change her attitude towards you, then I really can't continue a life with her. <laughs> Guangyao, the love and devotion you have for me makes me happy. <laughs> but don't forget what I have told you. Your life is in your own hands. You make the decisions. Good or bad, you know better than anyone. I'm already over 70 years old. Each day I live is one less day I have. A day to me is just a number. But you're different. You're still very young. You have to live your own life to the fullest. We have come to this point already. There's no such thing as good days for us. I still have no idea what is going to happen in the future. Uh, Guangyao, you have already divorced one time before. You have to try and think twice before you make any decisions. Yeah? I know. Let's not talk about it. Don't worry about it. <sighs> also, Xiao Chang asked Xiao Guan if she's willing to come back to work for us when she heard you were back home. Xiao Guan's happy to help. <sighs> she should come back very soon. She's out buying groceries. I think she'll be back soon. <sighs> Xiao Chang really has a kind heart. Miss Guan's also very kind. We should treat her fairly. Don't worry. I've already doubled her salary. <laughs> Mrs. Gao. Hmm. It's time. Medicine. What? Medicine again? Oh, this pill? You're supposed to take this half an hour before you eat. What medicine? How much to take? It's all written here on this paper. Don't worry, I won't let you take the wrong medicine. I didn't mean you'd give me the wrong one. I just feel disgusted whenever I see it. <laughs> Mrs. Gao, you're ill. And you don't want to get that scent, so you have to take this medicine. 
Don't worry. I'll make you delicious food based on the recipes I found online. They're designed for patients with heart problems. You'll have a good appetite again. <laughs> Miss Guan, <laughs> you know how to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> You're happy now? Take the pill. Mrs. Gao, it's not me who knows how to make you happy. It's a Mrs. Yu. She's the one who gave me all those recipes she found online. She really wants you to eat better, and she wants you to get better soon, okay? Uh, I'm so happy she still cares. Thank her for me whenever you see her. Oh, I... You're here taking care of me. The two of them have to work. Who's watching Mao Mao? Ah, oh, Mama's grandpa took him to Chongming for a while. In that case, I won't get to see Mao Mao for a while. No, you will, you will. Mrs. Yu told me she'll pick up Mao Mao every single weekend and bring him here so you can see him. <gasps> She's such a considerate person. <laughs> we weren't lucky. We couldn't keep her here. Yes, yes, yes. There's a problem! <laughs> Mr. Yao, thank you for your help this time. Okay, I look forward to it as well. Okay, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> something happened, something happened. Didn't you see I was on the phone with someone? Why didn't you knock first? A hot girl's here looking for you. It's normal a hot girl's looking for me. She also has a guitar, exactly like the one you used to have. Tell her to come in. <laughs> this is Mr. Bao. Da Jia Ming, do you still recognize me? Of course I do. Ying, Dudu's old colleague. Here, please. <laughs> You're doing good. Have you your own company now? Just selling some tea. <laughs> I underestimated you. <sighs> Would you like to drink some tea or coffee? I sell tea. <laughs> That's my best friend. <laughs> He's funny. Here, you should try this new tea we're promoting. Okay. Here. Thank you. Why did you suddenly want to come see me today? Um, I'm here to give you this. Isn't that Dudu's guitar? So you haven't heard yet? She's living with me right now. So she moved into your place now? Yeah. She moved back to her old place because she had a dream. Now the dream is broken. Staying there will only make her feel sad. So she didn't take anything with her. This is the only thing she took. Is she doing okay? No. Not good at all. I always see her crying when she holds this guitar. I think maybe this guitar reminds her of some old memories. So maybe it's better to keep her away from it. So I decided to bring the guitar here so you can have it. I knew you two were together before, so I think it's best to let you hang on to it. Where is she working at the moment? She's not working. She was lying to you. And me? I travel a lot, but I'm not a flight attendant anymore. I'm really worried to leave her alone in the house. Well, what can I do for her then? She quit because she wanted to leave you. She loves you, you know. I know, it's hard to judge others' relationships. Me, myself, I can only sit by and watch. But can you please go check on her from time to time, even if you don't love her anymore? Because you two used to be a couple, and you used to love her. Go take care of her sometimes. Okay. Thank you so much. Oh. This is my home address. Thanks. Okay. I should probably go now. Hey. Goodbye. Take care.
生命中的相遇，是缘来又缘去。你是否会在意我孤单的美丽？岁月慢慢老去，是否还来得及？说一声在一起。真的不容易。爱情的故事有悲也有喜，只要有你陪我在这里。生活在继续，难免有风雨，幸福就是相伴走下去。要再分离，爱到底，无论以后在哪里，为了幸福，我们爱。